Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I know it's been like heck long, it's been like a month. I just been honestly lazy. I don't know why I'm always on YouTube, so anyways, let's just let's do this video. So I'm gonna be reacting to Do Teens Know 2000s Disney TV shows uh, react do they know it basically and I'm probably gonna get every single one right cuz I was a 2000s baby oh yesterday was my birthday shout out to myself happy birthday to me <laughs> that sounds sad but yeah yesterday was my birthday oh sorry I'm getting off track but yeah yesterday was my birthday. And we just like went out to eat and stuff but and it was all right. On Saturday, we're supposed to be doing stuff. And that's all that really happened in my life so far. <laughs> okay, let's get into the video right now. Sorry I'm about the ad. The show, Ma. I feel so Sorry. uncultured today. This is like one of the most catchy theme songs like I've I've ever heard in my life. some popular Disney TV shows from the early 2000s. Oh my gosh, finally, a do they know it that I know, that I actually know. Okay, I'm gonna be so good at this. I watched, I still watch Disney Channel actually. I'm assuming I know most of them, but I'm gonna be real disappointed if I don't. We're gonna have you listen to the intro theme songs to see if you can name the show. And some of these titles will be bleeped out. I feel like theme songs I should be able to know. Like I've heard that a lot, even if I didn't watch it when I was younger. I think I watched more Nickelodeon. This might be a problem. It might be a little different since, you know, I saw... I watch, like, more Cartoon Network than any other shows. I have my fair share of Disney, but, you know, Cartoon Network was the best. Period. All the Disney shows in Denmark, but hopefully I'll recognize some of them. I'll probably be able to do this. Hopefully. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. Let's see how this goes then. <laughs> Can see the visuals. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I think I know it. I think. I don't know. Man. Yes! This beginning sounds so familiar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lizzie McGuire, right? I think it's Lizzie McGuire. That's my final answer. That was my show. I even had the the computer game. It was so fun. I think I'm right. I think. I knew it was gonna be this show. The first one. Oh my gosh. Uh, Hillary Duff is iconic. The original Disney star. Like my childhood brain knows it. montage happening but i don't know what the montage is do you know that one no but i do recognize it a little honestly no you know what i have no idea i don't know is this lizzie mcguire was it lizzie mcguire lizzie mcguire it's lizzie mcguire this is lizzie mcguire you see i i know the show i've i've heard of it i just i never watched it okay yeah yeah, yeah. i knew it sounded familiar she was always the the like disney star that like consistently was like a role model i feel like through like now she is a mom and like still killing the game i think she's gained that title of the disney channel star or the one of the few Dis disney channel stars that haven't you know gone crazy or anything <laughs> I think this is the one with the claymation, and then I think that's why I didn't like the show because I was like, this is so gross. I'm seeing a bunch of quirky cartoons and colors. Um, I have no idea. It might come to me, but Wait, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, wait, I think I know what this is. It, like, it really 
really sounds so familiar. Oh. I feel like it's this show of like superheroes or something. I don't know. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm letting all this down. Do you know this one? That sounds so familiar, but I did not know. I have no idea. I think it's Even Stevens. It's Even Stevens. Even Stevens. Even Stevens. This is Even Stevens, starring Shia LaBeouf and Chrissy Carlson Romano. Oh my god. What? I never watched the show, I don't think. I think I just watched the movie. That was the only thing I liked was the movie. Uh, even Stevens! No, it wasn't a cartoon! Shia LaBeouf actually won a daytime Emmy for the role of Louis Stevens in 2003. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Shia LaBeouf now is such a meme of himself that, like, the fact that he has a daytime Emmy just, like, fulfills something that, like, didn't need to be fulfilled, but, like, it warms my heart. <laughs> Already hands down, proud family. We already know. Destiny's Child. This is the song of my time. Love this song. Ooh. This is funky. I like this song. Sounds so familiar. I haven't seen this in so long. Oh my gosh, this theme song is so iconic. Like, this is the stuff I grew up on that show. Do you know this one? No, I do not know. No. Proud Family? That one's The Proud Family. The Proud Family? This is The Proud Family. The Proud Family. This one is called Proud Family. See, I've never even heard of that. Solange Knowles, which is Beyonce's younger sister. That guy, he just, he looks like he's too old to be <laughs> Like, he grew up in the 90s or something. Was the main singer for this theme song. However, Destiny's Child did sing backup. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it was Destiny's Child and Solange. That's so crazy, like, that they could get such big stars. Wait, I thought Solange was a part of Destiny's Child. Oh, I guess not then. <laughs> To sing the theme song. You know you made it if you, if you have Destiny's Child as a, as a backup. Queens. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Oh, On a holiday through history. Yes. The final destination. Yes. History. Something on a time machine has flown. It's a time machine. Ended up right here in our time zone. So now we. Sounds like they're swearing. That's so funny. Oh, uh, I know this one, but I, why did you keep it out? No. Do you know this one? I have no idea what this is. All time girls? Was this Phil of the Future? Phil of the Future. Phil of the Future. Phil of well, that's probably it, but I have never watched that. I heard of it, but no. Phil of the Future. Phil of the Future. So this one's called Phil of the Future. Oh. Uh, I've definitely never seen the show. I feel so uncultured today. This is like one of the most catchy theme songs like I've I've ever heard in my life. Kim Possible. Sorry, y'all probably wanted to guess, but this is my time now. This is my time. <laughs> No, it's Kim Possible, y'all. Y'all already know. That the opening, we all know what the opening is. Kim Possible, hands down. I am a basic average girl, and I'm here to save the world. I can't stop because I'm Kim Possible. 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 This is a bop too. Oh my gosh. This thing had good songs. Uh, you just gotta call me, beat me if you wanna reach me. You know, that's that's the best part of the song. That's the most groovy song. Alright, do you know this one? Kim Possible? Kim Possible. That's Kim Possible. Kim Possible! Wow. At the time of its run and even after its conclusion, Kim Possible was the most watched, highly rated, and most beloved television show on the Disney Channel. Yeah, I bet. I wanted to be Kim Possible, y'all. I wanted to be Kim Possible. I was like, when I grow up, I want to be like Kim Possible and fly in the sky and go on missions and whatever. But as you can see, I just ended up being Wayne, just sitting down in front of my computer all the time. Or was his name Wayne? Or Wayne, right? Whatever his name is. I was the guy just sitting... 
I'm not a guy, but I'll just be him sitting in front of the computer all the time. That would be me. It was the most successful show Disney Channel ever had after the 1990s up until Phineas and Ferb. Really? Oh my gosh. Like, I knew it was popular, but I didn't know it was, like, the popular show. All the girls at my school, like, we all would sing that uh, theme song, Call Me, Beat Me, If You Want to Reach Me. So, I'm not surprised. (laughs) I feel like having a female badass in, on Disney Channel as a cartoon, whether that be whether it be in a cartoon or, in, or live action, it was just, it was cool to see. It was, it was exhilarating, it was exciting. I just loved it. It was a good show. Wait, aren't they making a live action movie? They are. Oh, they need to not do that. <laughs> Pause, they're making a live action. At first I thought that was a meme or something because I seen it pop up on YouTube and I was like, Psh, that's clickbait. You know, Kim Possible live action. Ugh, that's not no. That's not gonna happen. And I guess it's true. I haven't heard about it in a while, so maybe they canceled it. Who knows? But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna have to end the video here. It's getting too long, so y'all can check out the video. There's the title on the screen. The majority of it, you should be able to find it. And y'all can guess the shows for yourself, cause right now. I gotta go. Well, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want more of these videos, reaction videos. Or should we bring the band back together? Me, Raya, and Kolo. My other bandmates. (laughs) But, anyways, well, see you guys later. I'll probably, like, upload another one in, like, 30 minutes or something, so. Okay, bye.